What is up, everybody? Justin here, bringing you another poorly reviewed beer. Uh, my last beer before I don't drink for a month, so I figured I'd uh, make it a good one from Firestone Walker Brewing Company in Paso Robles, California. This is Luponic Distortion Rotating Hop Series Revolution Number Zero Zero Three. So as it says, this is a uh, rotating hop series uh, from Firestone Walker. Seems like they use the same recipe, uh, just a different hop type uh, every time. And this was essentially uh, one release each quarter during uh, 2016. Uh, notes from the brewery. The lead hop in Revolution 003 is a new German variety that brewmaster Matt Brynaldsen first encountered in its experimental infancy while traveling through the Hallertau region during the hop harvest three years ago. I fell, in love with it. I fell in love with it then, and I've been following its development ever since, he says. It's just loaded with this juicy mandarin orange character that is so distinctively German, unlike anything you could grow here in the States. Luponic Distortion Revolution 003 offers a mandarin orange and ripe peach character with ample supporting notes of citrus, stone fruit, and pineapple. The overall profile is round and juicy, leaning heavily on ripe fruits, with minimal dank or piney edges. 5.9% ABV, 59 IBU. Uh, one note, they do recommend that this uh, beer be drank within 90 days of, can of the Candon date, which was the end of August. So we're pushing past that uh, by a couple months. Though uh, I picked this up um, from my parents' place up north, so they were obviously still selling it around the, uh, the Christmas time. So... Um, it was fine then. I'm sure it's going to be fine now, but uh, I did at least want to make that caveat. So looking at this beer, nice uh, straw color. Maybe just pushing into yellow gold just a bit. Maybe, maybe a little dark for straw. Straw highlights, I would definitely say, but uh, yellow into yellow gold kind of core. And it pushes kind of an overall straw color in the highlights pretty well see-through good amount of carbonation slowly moving its way to the top of the glass you see about a half a finger of head to have half a finger to a finger's worth of head there so uh, let's give it a try hmm. a little bit of that orange in the uh and the little bit of aroma that I got. And um, first thing I noticed was plenty of hot bite and a nice juicy mouthfeel as they uh, proclaim. Uh, lots of citrus. Lots and lots of citrus. A little bit of pine. And those uh, tropical fruits a little bit. So kind of uh, <laughs> pretty well exactly as they say. But um, uh, orange, maybe a little bit of orange rind, and uh, get the pineapple and maybe something like a papaya as well. That maybe might be the pe I'm interpreting the peach note. But yeah, at the at the, the back end, you get this nice. Nice juiciness in the mouthfeel. Uh, front end is kind of fairly standard, but that back end has a nice juicy sweetness to it. Uh, a little bit of a funky aftertaste. It's kind of some hop bite combined, I think, with some of the the more tropical fruits. But um, really, really freaking delicious beer. Um, terrific beer. Uh, not... Not disappointing for the last drink I'll be having until uh, till the 1st of March. Uh, yeah, terrific stuff from uh, Firestone Walker, as expected from uh, Firestone Walker. So that's it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. Uh, before I go, as I said, I do observe uh, booze-free February, but not to worry. I'm going to try to keep the content here on YouTube and on the, the website uh, fairly flowing fairly well i banked a bunch of uh a bunch of review videos 
And I'm, I'm going to be cutting back from uh, three a week to two. So you'll see the first one this coming weekend. And then I'll be releasing the, another one midweek next week. And that's how, how it'll fall for the for the month of February. One midweek, one weekend. Um, until probably Wednesday the 1st, I'll probably uh, get back to it. Wednesday, Wednesday the 1st or Thursday the 2nd of March, I'll get back into doing videos. Similarly, I have a bunch of beers in review uh, and a backlog to write about. And I'll try to do some some more content, some of the some more news roundups. I've been intentionally staying away from news roundups to try to bank up some of that stuff. And some of the commentaries that I've been doing, uh, the couple that I've done in the, in the last... Uh, here in the last month or so, um, I already have one that I'm starting to work through, but uh, that's probably what, I, what I'll be doing on the on the blog on the website in terms of content. So just because I stopped drinking for the month of February does not mean that the uh, does not mean the poorly reviewed beer is dying by any means. Still going to be plenty of content if I have anything to say about it. You can find all my reviews, both video and written, along with news commentary and more at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. Also, check out PRB on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Untapped. You'll find all those links and usernames in the description below. Also, feel free to like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.